Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. In this video, I will show you how to set up your uh, dual monitor using HDMI cable. Okay, so for this you need a laptop, which is your main laptop, and I'm sure you bought a second monitor because you want to work efficiently. So this is my second monitor right here. It's basically facing that side. I'm going to make it face this way, but I wanted to show you that you do need an HDMI for this video to work. You do need the HDMI uh, right there. So in this uh, laptop, the HDMI is right over there. But if you are using like some other laptops like Dell or anything, you're looking for something like this that says HDMI right there. Of course, another step is to set up a monitor, make sure it's hooked up correctly. And some of the monitor comes with this little plastic, so make sure you, uh, you know, safely peel it. I'm going to turn off my phone because I don't want to drop my monitor. It's a pretty nice monitor. I love it. It's curved. So this is how HDMI cable looks like. So one side of this cable needs to go to the laptop, that the, the one that you're using, your main machine. So it could be laptop or desktop. And the other side could be your monitor. This is your monitor right here that is going to go and get attached to that. This could be also your TV. If it has a HDMI, you really don't need a extra monitor. You can actually preference that you want your monitor to be on the left side or you want your monitor to be on the right side. I'm right-handed. I want to go this way. So when I'm using, let's say, this machine, I want to go this way. So that's going to be my setup. So my wire is connected here, and then it's going to go to the monitor right here. So that's the HDMI that's connected to that. And, of course, you need power. Without power, it's not going to work. So make sure you power, uh, you plug in the power in there. So when you turn on your laptop right after when you connect HDMI, now most of the time new monitors will detect it automatically. But if you can detect it automatically, you have to go to the settings of your monitor and you have to actually select the HDMI option inside your monitor for it to work. Just like TV, you have done that so many times. You have to go to the settings because I, I don't know how many people are using different type of monitors. So in this, there's a button. When I click on it, basically it tells me, do you want VGA or do you want HDMI and then I select that HDMI so make sure you look at the manual for that uh, you know monitor but let's say as soon as you get connected you are going to see uh, that this is on the same screen so this is showing the same screen this is showing the same screen then that's really not what I want right I want this to be an extra monitor that's why you want to do it dual so for this to work you have to go to the main machine right here and right click and go to display settings and in display settings, you can see you have a few options right here. If you come down on the bottom in Windows 10, let me make sure I show it to you in a bigger screen right here. If you look at here, it depends on your uh, you know, systems, but in here you can see that you have flip, portrait, and all these options right here. This is not the one that you want. The one on the bottom is the one the multiple display is what you want. Duplicate these settings means this is duplicating our main machine to the extra monitor so we have to click here and then we want to do extend these display so if I do extend these display you can see now my main machine have kept the settings keep changes and now on the right side I have a full monitor to myself right now so I can open multiple let's say for example I want to open a new word document on this machine so there is one that's open but I want to add another one too now this one is open, but I don't want it to be on this machine. I'm going to move it to my main machine right here. So I can have a multiple because this is a pretty big monitor. So of course I can have multiple documents like that. And that's the beauty of uh, buying a larger size monitors because now I can have two, one document here, one document over there, and I can work on another document right here. So this means I can be working on three documents at the same time. It depends on your work. I'm an IT professional, so sometimes I will have one display, a remote desktop connection to, let's say, a server. Another would be a router, and another would be me chatting with other IT professionals. Uh, so depend what kind of system you want to use. And if you want to use a full display, just make it full like that. And now you see you have a full screen, but you can see uh, that, that the size of this is, is not even using the size. You, you, you can make that better by making it, let's say, for example, bigger like that. That will work for you. But it really depends on what you want to do after this. So that's how you do dual monitor with HDMI. Again, if you forgot what I just said in the beginning, how did you go to these settings? You right click and go to display settings and then you can identify your uh, let's say for example okay another issue is that if you turn it on 
and you're moving your mouse this way but it's not going that way then what's happening It's because your setting is not right you have to move your display to the left or right to make it uh, work right there so mine's already working so you see this is one and this is two so that's working so if I identify you can see this is one and this is two but sometimes this option may not work so then you need to do what you need to flip it like that and then apply and then you can use your mouse and that will work so in other examples you may be using your laptop so you can have a VGA the blue cable like this you can connect here and then it can go back to your computer uh, you know and then you can use another monitor with HDMI so you can use dual monitors like this so in some cases you may have a DVI uh, you know uh, adapter like that so you can have is you have to make sure that what, whichever you buy this is not the one this is the old one the whichever you buy has to work inside here and then these two uh, you know white cables are gonna go to your two different monitors so make sure whatever you use uh, you can look at the back of the computer or the laptop and see what is the availability over there and then based on that you want to buy your monitors um, you know and some really old ones can come with like two VGA uh, hooks like this too so it will connect right here and then you will have two uh, VGA uh, outputs like this so one will go to one monitor it says right here one and other ones go to second monitor uh, and you will use the same method uh, of course if you don't have something like this on your computer then you will have to go online and buy uh, either a DVI or VGA or you know something like a card like that uh, that you can connect inside the machine inside the motherboard and then it will st stick out exactly just like that uh, so definitely look at it because a lot of laptops comes with like HDMI and then and, and on the other side you have a VGA some laptops don't have the H, uh, just have the HDMI it may have two HDMI's just a lot of uh, uh, you know new stuff comes with like that too so you may have two HDMI's going out uh, to the you know different monitors so make sure you look into that another one would be this setup as well so this also comes like a USB it's like a connector port connector it goes in here and then you have the the two hooks coming out uh, just like a USB and it goes back to the monitors as well so anything that you buy you first need to make sure that what is your availability what do you already have if you don't know that make sure you ask somebody in the Best Buy or somebody online or do a research based on what do you want to use most of these like I said laptops new laptops comes with HDMI and some already have VGA but if you don't have this just one then of course you can use one monitor the the laptop uh, screen and the other one just like I showed you in the beginning so it's pretty simple stuff you just need to make sure uh, what's your availability on the devices right there thank you so uh, I was just setting up a monitor for my brother so this monitor was on the left side and when I hooked this monitor it was on the right side so a common mistake or uh, not a mistake it's a common thing that when you set up a monitor sometimes you know by luck or automatically your left side of the monitor becomes the main monitor and then you can go this way but since he's having a little issue with his eye right now, so he told me to, can you move this monitor from right to left? So now, if you do this, you see, I cannot do this. Like, I'm, I cannot come to this monitor because I have to go this way and then my mouse cursor will show like that. You see how I just went in there? And now I'm going. So that's, of course, he cannot work like this. So now, how do you fix it? You're going to go back to the mo main monitor right there and just right click and go to display settings. And you see, if you can do a detect, it won't detect right there. So that's another issue right there, right? But you can see the size of this monitor is bigger. So that tells you right now the one is this one and the two is this one. So I need to basically switch it. So as soon as I switch it and I click on apply, and now you see my mouse is working nicely and smoothly between these two monitors. Very simple fix, but a lot of people, of course, uh, they're going to call you for this. This is a ticket. Uh, now my brother is going to be happy, he's going to be working, and uh, this is a curved, lovely monitor. Thank you.